is my story before this for the index This is when things get a little more in depth Read it through, believe it's true This is all I needed to lead a new path to a cleaner view Welcome back to Behind the Bar 6 We have a sick battle, make some noise! Yeah. On my right we have, coming from Manchester We have Sean O'Mac <laughs> Let's go! I was going to check out your tracks for the purpose of research, but you don't deserve no plays or views, so I won't watch you on any YouTube station or allow you in any way to get on my U Station tube. Fuck an oyster card, you should have paid your dues, because while O'Shea was out there making moves, you was gallivanting in a forest taking shrooms while you and Scooby Doo were off facing ghouls. <laughs> Shaggy looking motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking, when you used to try right rhymes at the night time, you'd be on the sideline making brews on a Beyonce steez trying to make him feel catered to. So as for you, you do rep an amazing crew, but not one DJ plays your tunes and no one in the scene's ever rated you. See, I, I came to put him in a box early like I can't wait to move, or just put him in a bag like I've got weight to move. I'm not, say, I'm not saying I've got lots of food on my hands like that way to move, I'm saying when you see a door with an exit sign, that is the way to move. Oh, wow. That's, that's for what I said on O'Shea, I didn't mention his name in a negative way like everyone else who's ever stepped to the plate with no intention of trying to get in your face. Because to them, battling you ain't beneficial at the end of the day, so they wrote a load of rhymes for O'Shea and tried to send him his way and get reactions off the disses the indirectly made. So what makes you still wrecking your ace when you've never been great, you just used as an excuse to send indirects to your mate? Time. Time. Get some noise. First round. Required. It's pretty easy to make references to Dick Limerick, your little prick, when your head's the shape of an inverted pyramid. I've <laughs> 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 just noticed sat here watching you with that girly chin and girly ears. You look a bit like Mr. Burns, the early years. <laughs> <laughs> but before I get carried away saying about how your mum quaffs cumpots at bus stops or how she's done squats on cumquats, I'm actually going to give you some respect because you sure have done lots. You have, in fact, given some of the best performances I've ever seen. I'll jump off. <laughs> that could fuck off. Now back to your mum's slot. Now, because she didn't abort you, I'm going to subject her to torture. She'll choke on me cock and throw up like I gave her an eating disorder. Oh! <laughs> and I'm not even messing, seriously. And now I'm into pimping her, so if anybody wants to bugger an obscene hole, you can try his bulimic mother, then you'll really get the old heave-ho. Oh! <laughs> Does he even that make works. sense, really? Now, is that yeah, yeah, that's that's line, I'm embarrassed by that one. <laughs> to be honest, when I want to fuck, I get a big bone on. Whether it's when you, on the other hand, want to fuck, you get a Higgs boson. <laughs> Which is small, isn't it? But no one wants to hear your fucking shitty lyrics, so you best just sit down, you little clown. You look like your face was once on your fod, and now it's just sort of dribbled down. <laughs> when the nurses went to check your mum, it seems she wrecked the speculum for after being fun for everyone. She's got a very stretchy bum. <laughs> it's a shame, isn't it? But I don't want to check her drawers, really, because I'm squeamish. In fact, her distended vagina's bigger than my normal-sized penis. <laughs> normal's fine, by the way, normal's fine. But seriously, she's crap at giving wanks, and her cunt looks like a shell blast. In fact, when she goes down a pole, it causes kickoffs like the Union Jack in Belfast. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Second round, Sean on Mac. I really can't be asked to listen to this cunt spitting bias. He said that when he wants to fuck, he gets a big boner in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> See, one, one day when you were hugging a shrub or two, you took a shroom and thought you turned into a wooden spoon from Button Moon. <laughs> it, even your mum and dad used to bully you because of the pencil case that you took to school. Your big sister used to rush your room and smack you around the head with a fucking broom. <laughs> it's not hard to be stupid without using ability, but you choose to do it with Randy Newman's delivery. <laughs> Perverted punchlines and abusing you lyrically. The only time you ever liked is in the use of a simile. No. 
Yeah. See them intellectual levels match with them of an ape, so if they did testing on his cranium, it'd come up red on the display. Because it's safe to say he ain't got much sense left in his name when he gave the name to DLA after the benefits he claims. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's for the disabled, but if you didn't get it, it's okay. <laughs> anyway, before we finish, I want to make sure that the record is straight, because I had some serious trouble when I was spelling your name. I mean, Ricky with a double K, Riley's what it said on the page, but Rick with a C, Wiley when I checked it again. I think I've uncovered just about every way I checked on 20 odd battles and it's never the same, so do me a favour mate and tell me what the hell is your name? <laughs> anyway, I'm known to push my pen to its pace every night I sit and write my lyrics in a pad while he's reciting rhymes Spike Milligan would have. I don't know if you're for real like lucid dreams I've had when you get about with that supply music teacher swag. Time. <laughs> Next round, Rich Way. Right now, I am actually in my element, like Radon. You can spell my name any way you want, in crayon. <laughs> <laughs> See, the last time Sean O'Mac had this many performers around him was when he was born on the set of Preggy Anal Halls 1000. <laughs> <laughs> and something actually happened there. Which tells us something about it. It happened at the exact moment that his head was crowning. See, as he was trying to push his head out of that wretched porn tunnel, your ma was on all fours. Thank you. Your ma was on all fours, getting her rear anal door pummeled. <laughs> the resulting constriction of all of her pelvic floor muscles explains all of your subsequent delicate jaw troubles. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I spit this stuff, you can all tell I'm joking, but Sean thinks there's proper malice behind it. That's because if he tried to take it on the chin, it'd take him a fortnight just to find it. <laughs> and if it's true that you can truly lose to two can, then mate, your face should not see the light of day. And if anyone says this is going to be the return of the Mac, I've got to tell you, the lad to me! <laughs> Personals, mate, I think you're just a spastic, especially when your idea of girlfriend material is just inflatable plastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's not, though, is it? It's, uh, the fact is, it's actually Georgia, or Ashley, or Georgia, or Ashley, that you're going to be going back with. But, mate, oh. it doesn't make her a princess just because she can feel your pee through the mattress. <laughs> <laughs> she can make balls disappear as if by magic, and I'm not talking ping pong balls, I'm talking proper KCs, at least a hat trick. <laughs> She's on all fours, easy, and if you're doubting, you're in trouble because there's evidence. In fact, she's taken more horse meat than this banal current affairs reference. <laughs> See, she's been invaded more times than Kabul, and she hates your tiny mandible. <laughs> so which is understandable, and I'm going to keep going with this inappropriate stuff, but if I feel bad afterwards, I'll apologise. But the only time you put your foot in it is when Ashley said your cock didn't switch the sides. <laughs> this is Rick Wiley did this battle to give his album a push. But no one's gonna listen, mate. Just the fact your scouse is enough. I mean, the saliva from your mouth could drown a town in a month, and the only thing I hate more than how you sound on a dub is a can on the floor rolling round on a bus. That shit really pisses me off. It's like, it's like the ability to rap has been waved in battles, but it's called a rap battle, so mate, it matters. I mean, it's not, it's not like I'm trying to say I hate shit rappers, I just hate shit rappers is say they hate shit rappers. It's like you fucking only conjure up the most basic patterns and work from the punchline and then trace it backwards. So if you think you're winning today, you have got to be mad. I won't be found on these grounds. So try your stand-up comedy act when you get beat down through each round. You're full of shit like a colostomy bag. Look in and you'll see brown, but a run shit round these clowns. Yes, a run it like C brown and punch bitches that speak out. Nice. Should've just come up here in freestyle, because this match ain't a thing or win this match up with ease. I ain't battling him, he's battling me. <laughs> I, I use my craft for the win. If he's got craft in his cheese, he looks like Harry the Prince mixed with Nanny McPhee, but it's like Chandler Bing in his Wrangler jeans. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to add to that scheme, but you should, I should punch you in the stomach till you suffer from muscular spasms just for looking like a body double in action of Frank Spencer when he starred in Some Mothers Do Have Him. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, it's full of it. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> we have a prompt. He's we pulling out a lemon. He's pulling out a lemon. It's a guitar. He's checking his phone. It's a banjo. Don't it's prop. He's getting me some new batteries. He has. <laughs> 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 One. <laughs> I can't rap, so I'm going to be performing this final round in an extempo calypso style. It's a chord sequence I'm sure you're all familiar with. I invite you all to join in on the chorus. The words are incredibly simple. <laughs> when I come to a battle, I like to ball and that. It's because I enjoy all the styles that performers have. A battled calcium kid, and he's purely mad. Cashmore's roar, he wrote for porno mags. <laughs> Prince Song and Gizmo like to brawl and that. So when a battle O'Shea, you know it's all for laughs. So when a villa said, would a battle Sean O'Mac, I said, of course. Who's that? <laughs> I said, what is the style that he's brought to rap? He said, I'm not really sure, well he sports a cap. <laughs> I said, a villa man, I'm gonna need more than that. <laughs> he's got a girlfriend, you could call her fat. He said, I'd really rather not resort to that. <laughs> if you've heard my other verses, then I sort of have. <laughs> I didn't call her fat, I just called her a fucking pouring slag. Sean <laughs> Sean covered all the topics that I ought to have I've just stuck with this mum who's a portly lass <laughs> I've said that it's been ages since she saw a bat she's got horse drawn flaps and she's caught the clap <laughs> <laughs> I would rather choke than end up on board the lass I'd rather tell the McCann's that their daughter's back <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Track, and no one does that because Sean is crap. But you see more balls than a quarterback. <laughs> Fox more often than Professor Brian and Courtney has. And I've just remembered something else I'd do before I'd shag his mother, and that is win best supporting act. <laughs> and Robos, they give a speech saying I'd deport the blacks. And then when everybody lynches me and I end up getting purely attacked, they'll stamp on my face till my jaws collapse and they'll say, do you know who you look like? And I'll say, who's that? It's Jonah Sean O'Reilly. Jonah Sean O'Reilly. Jonah Sean O'Reilly. You're a boring slash. I love you, Sean. Rockside, just watched uh, Ricky Riley and Sean O'Mac. Uh, I'm not going to break it down. Ricky just took it, man. He's the third round. He won it for me. So I'm giving it to Ricky. Yeah, day three ways. Check out Fair Peach Clothing, one of the sponsors to that battle. Um, Ricky, <laughs> Ricky Wilder's a cunt. Um, <laughs> I, did, I did a fucking Ed Sheeran thing, man, but he just smashed my performance out of the fucking window. Like, Ricky Wilder's sick, man. Uh, I'm battling Sean O'Mac on the 1st of March, though, Wavy in Liverpool, so make sure you come check that out. But definitely, I'll give that to Ricky Wilder. Same, I don't need to break it down. Um, Sean O'Mac was good. I thought his rounds were a bit short, to be honest, compared to Ricky Wilder's. Both came good, but his third round was blew him out of the water. Was... Sean O, Sean O'Mac! <laughs> You're a boring twat! <laughs> I'm giving it, I'm giving it, I'm giving it 3-0 to Ricky Wiley anyway. What yeah. I thought was quality about it, to be honest, is the way he rhymed everything in the whole song with his name of yeah, 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 man. Welcome back to Behind the Bar 6, we had a sick battle, make some noise! Yeah. And the winner is 3 to 0 and it goes to... The Ukulele Man! Richard Wiley! Get that on camera! <laughs> 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 <laughs>